Hello everyone, and welcome back to another MCC um, predictions video. Um, today we are talking, going to be talking about um, MCC 11 team placements, and I'm going to be ranking where I think um, the teams will place. Um, and of course, um, nothing, every, nothing is factual in this video, it's all opinion based on my opinion and my point of view. You can disagree, you can agree. Um, I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments down below, your predictions. So yeah, let's just get started. So if you didn't know, this season on MCC is all Halloween themed. So I presume the map will be spooky, and I know everyone has to dress up in Minecraft skins, so that's pretty cool. But I'm just gonna show you around the teams. So we have Red Ravens, Captain Sparkles, Nietzsche, Bowser, and Turbo. Orange Oozes, Finster, Kratzy, Mini Mooka, and CTK. Mustard Mummy, Dante DM, Pearl, Twig, and Joe. Or small HP, Lime Leeches, Four Symmetry, Fruit Berries, Green, and Rendong, Green Goblins, Connie Eats Pants, James Charles, King Baron, and Meat Pizza Hut, <coughs> Science Centipedes, Technoblade, Captain Puffy, Kyra Corbus, and Tapel, Aqua Abomination, In the Little Wood, Catherine Whisper, Brilliant Ass, and Solidarity, Leave That Cats, Scott, aka S Major or Dance Long Name, Whip, Cage Bomb and Shibble, Violet Vampires, Fendi, Quackity, Tommy and Wilbur, and f and finally Fushki, Frankenstein, Dream, George, Nightmare So it's Carl. actually a really like, it's gonna be a pretty OP event, like there's some really good teams in this event. I would kind of say it's really balanced, it's not as balanced as it has been in the past, but it's, it could definitely be very competitive in my opinion throughout the teams i know people are you know really trying <laughs> like they always are but it's as well as being competitive of course it'd be great content and very funny it's especially to break teams. down every team so here we have red ravens um this team i say it's, it's overly balanced there's not like some someone who like speaks out to me as like a team leader or like too good like, or, like so good that the team they can carry the whole team it's something like, pretty balanced for my, in my opinion and this team will be great banter especially because you know the turbo and the captain <laughs> that'd be very funny if you know you know um next we have orange users um same again to be honest even though cracksy is like maybe the best player on this team probably um i wouldn't say he can carry the whole team cpk and mini definitely pull their own way and i think finster could too it really depends how he plays i know he's like dressing about his character rose i don't really know too much about it but i just briefly of what cpk said that's what i've gathered of this team mustard enemies um this team could be a wild card down to the m a um, new player he's like an og minecraft youtuber which i you know stand down <laughs> um but he could do really good or he i mean it is his first event i don't think he could do too good but i think he'll be average and then of course we have Quig, which is a beast, which he could carry the team. But then Joel and Pearl definitely carry their own weight, in my opinion. And Joel is slept on. Let me just tell you, gosh, Joel is a Joel is so good, but nobody notices. But because he's always on good teams, and like they always think, yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna go into that today. But this team, I think, is obviously really good. Well, but it really depends on Dan's plays, to be honest. Then we have lime, which is the hermit, and fruit berries, which kind of funny. I actually, I actually didn't even, I actually been sleeping on this team for a while until now. <laughs> I just realized like four some four some fruit berry have been popping off recently in the last few events. So I'm in green, and of course red dog too. Oh my god. Okay, this could be a really good team, and could actually like, do really well. But I've been sleeping on this team a lot. But of course, Fruitberry is so good. I mean, and some full screen and Rendog have been doing amazing in the most recent events. Full screen, like the first back to back winner, too. That was amazing. So that was really cool. And then we have Green Goblins. <laughs> we have Green Goblins. I think this is a carry team. I mean, Pizza Hut will carry. I mean, I think Burren can help with Pizza Hut. It depends because I feel like he, he would want, Burren would want lots of content and banter with Jim Shaw's. And again, Connor, I've never really watched Connor. I, I, I think I, he's an average player of what I've gathered from other people's streams and their predictions. He's an average player. But 
you know, James seeing not really a Minecraft huge Minecraft player. But yeah, this team could like break it or make it, <laughs> in my opinion. So yeah. Science Centipede. This team I think is better than I thought it would be because I never really took in Technoblend and Tap Out being together. They're definitely the strong points of this team. I'm sorry, Kyra and Puffy. But I, I do really think Kyra and Puffy hold their weight well. So I don't I think it's overly balanced. But I think this team could do very well. I maybe even win if they if they put enough effort into it. I would say, or like if they if they you know if the, if the, if the right games are for them, then they can win. Um, Aqua Abominations. Um, I think Cronos is probably the best player in this team, but it could be all balanced. I mean, I don't know if everyone in this team pulls their way. I think this is more of a banter team in my opinion. And can give them the bottom half, but I think it could be good content. <laughs> so I'm excited to watch these guys. Blue Black Cats, weird team name, let's just talk about that. I think Black Cats is like meant to be like Halloween, of course, but then Blue Black Cats. I don't know, but this team, everyone I think overrates this team. I think it's a good team, but everyone's saying, oh my god, it's so OP. In my opinion, Scott and Shubble and Quip or like average. Maybe a bit over average, probably a bit over average actually players. I think Flip and Shibble are a bit over average and Scott is like very over average and of course H Bomb S tier player <laughs> in my eyes. But I think everyone's pointing them too highly. I think because it's because, you know, Scott, Shibble, H Bomb, they've all got a few wins behind them. It's just that there's so much other good teams as well. I think they do good, but I don't know if it's good enough. In my opinion and then we have violet vampires which is like they could i heard that they don't work from wilbur um from 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 cpk has mentioned that wilbur said his team are not throwing and yeah it's with these people with these like kind of players they either throw for content or they you know really try and be competitive and wilbur's uh, said that they want to be competitive this time apparently through CPK I heard about it so if they really do be play competitive this team could really go I know Quackity isn't a pretty, I'm pretty sure Quackity is a bit new to Minecraft kind of I don't know if his first Minecraft experience was the Dream, was the Dream SMP or he played before but I'm not really I don't really watch him you guys can tell me below this game is this team is good but I don't know there's just something about it. I, do, I think Quackity, you know, I think he'll try to do content wise, because I feel like he always based is. Vendy could throw again, like he has previous times in some games. But if he has, like, Tommy, who, like, if Tommy tries, he really gets it. And same with Wilby, in my opinion. But if them, they, like, try a lot, I think Vend it'll spread to Vendy. And then that team could be really good. I don't know. I don't really know much about that team. And lastly, we have Fuchsia Frankensteins. This team is so OP in my eyes. Like, the Dream Team, you know, that's good on its own. And then people think Carl will like, wave him down, but Carl's been practicing and he is not bad. He is an average player. This team is really good. I feel like people are only saying that to so they hope other teams might win that they want, but I think this team could actually win. And has a big chance of winning, especially Dream and Snap, that's George and Carl. That's just, damn, I think it's like so OP. I don't know. No one else is like kind of agreeing. I've seen some people agree with me, but I don't know. I think it's the most OP. Not better than this team, might Okay, be. so now I'm gonna place them to where I think they'll get placement wise. So, um, I'm gonna go. I think I know who I think should be 10. Who could be 10. I feel like. Aqua, this team, I feel like they're not the most skilled players, and I feel like they could get 10th. A bomb, this is a combination. They have a very really cool name, but maybe one of the best names, but I don't know. Skill wise, I don't know if they're quite there. So I'm sorry, I'm gonna put them in 9th place. I'm actually, I'm gonna put orange juices. I know, like, CPK and Kratzy and Mimika, they will be saying like their team is being slept on, but I think it could be. I feel like they range from like ninth, their their lowest, and highest maybe fifth. I can't see them, see them getting the top four, but I don't know. They're pretty basic, like 
three average players, of course, Cracky over average, and CPK over average. They're all over average, but like, I don't know. The other teams are so OP, and then Vincent, I know, is not practicing at all, and he isn't. He's probably under average, I would say. I don't know. Please don't hurt me. Please don't, please don't hate on me. This is all just opinion based, like I said. Uh, nothing's factual, nothing you have to agree with or disagree. Uh, hey, your choice I'm, I am actually going to put Green Goblins. Even though Peter is like a very good player and like, you know, one of the best top five players in the event. I don't know, this team is James Charles. <laughs> and then we have a newcomer, Connor. And I just don't know if they can really beat any of the other seven teams remaining. I feel like seven is like, eight is a like, spot where they can like they can move of course i think the highest would be like six though and the lowest would probably be nine but i put them like kind of in the middle i guess i would say i don't know it really depends on what games get picked and you know james and connor's skill especially connor because you know james is not new but like kind of new to minecraft well he used to play years ago but like he doesn't know much of these games. Same with Connor's. Like, I don't know if he's really good at study anything or practice at all. So, so surprisingly, at seven, I am gonna put Red Ravens. Even though they're all like a, like a, an average team, they're not. There's no. There's nothing like too good that they like, can beat the other teams in my opinion. They're all pretty average players. Well, like if I, if I com when I compare them to the other teams, the other team always beats them out. So I think seventh is a good place for them. Um, I feel like the highest could be fourth, and I think seven could would be their lowest placement maybe that I could give them. I don't think they they could go any down unless you know something tragic happens, but we know let's hope not. <laughs> and now for number six, I'm actually a bit confused on whether to put mustard mummies or violet vampires. They're both skilled world teams, but I just don't know which one is better than the other. Of course, we have we have a newcomer on Violet Vampires, Quackity, which will like send that team down. But uh, this team also has a newcomer Dan. But even though Dan's more skilled in Minecraft, I don't really know. And I think this team has Quig, that team has Tommy, Joel. I would say is like even with like maybe Fendi and Pearl with like Roba. So I don't really know. It's a bit really really hard. This one is Mr. Memories or Violet Vampires. I feel like this team, these could like change around. So I'm gonna put, for now, I might go back at the end and change it. I put Mustard, Mummy, Slash, Violet. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can't see that. Okay. But this might change, of course. I probably will change it at the end. Just for now, I didn't know what to place them. So I hope you. Even though this team is actually really super good, I am going to put Lion Leeches at 4th. I don't think any of the other teams... At top 4, I think we'll be super close in points. Or maybe top 3, we'll be super close in points. And it might change a lot, but... Lion Leeches, even though it is a pretty good team, I feel like it, it might like be the might be second in the last game. And the last game, it might screw up and go to 4th. It really depends on what game it is, as I, as I well, said. For my 3rd and 2nd, I'm switching between Science Centipedes and Blue Black Cats. I really don't know which one should go where. It's gonna be a close. It's gonna be close, definitely between these four, three. Like I said, and I'm just gonna put it now. Number one is Defo. It's definitely, well, not definitely, but it. I think it's probably gonna be Fushigi Frankenstein's. Fush. Oh, I can't spell. Oh my god. Fusk of Rangers guns are probably first. You have to get second in points wise, and they're, I think they still win Dodge Bolt. So I am going to put them in first place. And that was just between Science Centipedes and Blue Black Cat. Actually, I'm going to put Science Centipedes, Centipedes at third place because, as a whole team, I think Blue Black Cat is better in as uh, skill wise because it's more, I don't know, it's more like average players. And less than like a carry in my opinion. Well, less than like like it, when I like do individuals versus this team, Blue Black Cats wins like by a bit. So I think it'll be su again super close between these. So teams. this is my final team predictions. I am gonna actually decide on six and five. So six, 
five. And I am just gonna put violet vampires on top and yellow yaks on the bottom on uh and fifth. Just because um Quig is amazing and I think he'll he can do and Stroll does too. And of course Pearl holds her own weight very well, so I'm gonna put her them in Sorry about that. Oh my I recording put... stopped for a second there, but we are back. Um as you've seen I've corrected Yellow Yak some some mummies and actually for the end of the end of this video I'm gonna be going, going through who I think will be top five players. Um number one I think will be Dream. If he pops I think he will pop off pop off like always and if he gets first I um, as a team, I think he will get first individually as well. And in second I am gonna put Quig because he doesn't have, I did put him in 5th as a team, but that doesn't mean he can single handedly pop off. Like in games like Parkour Warrior and Sky Battle, he can I think. And he always gets consistent top 3, so I am going to put him in 2nd. In 3rd place I'm going to put Technoblade. He did get, I did put his team at 3rd, and that's like a really good score for the team. And single handedly, again I think he will pop off as well, he'll do amazing like always. Fourth, I'm gonna put Pizza Hut. Even though I didn't put his team specifically high, I think that he can again do as well as a solo and he'll help his team go up. That's why I put him in eighth and not like ninth or tenth, but that doesn't mean I think he, it will boost their team more than I placed it to, if that makes sense. Finally, in my fifth place is gonna be Fruit Berries as I put his team in 4th which is a really good score and of course he will pop off like always he does really good events and especially if get Hunger Games gets chosen his score, his solo score will go through the roof so that's what I'm thinking for that one but yeah here are my MCC predictions um thank you for watching if you haven't already leave a like subscribe I do these for MC every MCC and I do other videos too about Minecraft so yeah um, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!